Hello everyone, it's Helder here. Uh, today I wanted to review these uh, dry sacks uh, by the uh, Camping Trail, all right, uh, TCT here. I was uh, sent these dry bags to uh, go ahead and review them. And once again, the fact that the uh, review made it live, uh, you know that they're definitely good to go because uh, I don't waste time reviewing uh, inferior gear. It's kind of useless to you, useless to me, waste of time. So once again, just the fact that you're seeing this review, you know that uh, they're good to go. Okay, so this dry sack here, or uh, waterproof bag, uh, holds uh, 20 liters. Uh, a lot of very cool features, all right? It has a uh, release valve here to either inflate or deflate. Uh, fairly simple. Uh, just unscrewing it will uh, open it up, and uh, you can actually take the whole thing out, or you can just open up this uh, little valve here, squeeze the air out of it as you're compressing it, put it back, okay? Also, for uh, floating purposes, if you're uh, portaging somewhere, or uh, just need to wade across something uh, while you're on a hike or trekking, which happens often, uh, it's pretty cool because you can go ahead, seal this uh, top part up, all right, as far as the slip here, and I'll go ahead and show you that. What the uh, manufacturer uh, recommends is actually uh, three to four folds, all right, so if you're here, you can just tell that the, uh, the top itself has this little thing, so I'll go ahead and fold it over, two, three, four, okay, and then we have the, uh, the little bracket here in the front, or the little clips. It'll go ahead nice and simple and lock that up. Comes with a uh, little carrying strap, all right, that'll uh, clip on to here, clip on to here. Pretty good construction, very uh, well done, let's say, and uh, relatively secure. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart on you uh, while you're in the middle of a, of a hike or camping trip, so on and so forth. And the, uh, the overall quality of these uh, dry sacks are good to go. Also has a, a little window here, which is kind of cool, uh, just so that you could uh, keep, uh, know pretty much where your gear is or where it's staged, all right, by looking in there rather than, uh, you know, even with a little flashlight at night, uh, gives you this little uh, this little viewfinder, uh, so to speak, uh, that I think is definitely helpful and, uh, you know, something cool for them to have uh, thought about and, uh, and added in here. So having these uh, high quality uh, bags, once again, uh, when we're looking at a survival situation, go bag situation, um, you know, what you're going to keep in your survival kit, you know, things of that nature. We always want to look at, uh, of course, you know, something that I harp on is multiple use. And uh, with something like this, I mean, you're limited to your imagination. I mean, it could be a, uh, a bear bag. Uh, you can keep it inside of your uh, ruck or your pack uh, to ensure that your clothes stay dry, especially when you're in the elements and you're hiking and it's pouring on you. Uh, you know that you could at least rest assured and know that you have your, your underwear and your socks, you know, that are good to go. They're nice and warm, um, which as we know, once you're done with that trek, uh, you want to be nice and comfortable. Uh, you want to relax once you get back to base camp and uh, comfort warmth uh, is definitely something that uh, this gear uh, does add to. Another cool uh, feature about this sack is the fact that uh, you can just rig it to the outside of your pack. Uh, so once again, when we are trekking or hiking, uh, sometimes you just don't have enough space in your uh, in your pack itself and it might not even be so much the weight uh but just the uh, the room inside because uh, you could have you know blankets and, and uh poncho liners things of that nature clothes uh that might not be too heavy but once again bulky uh when folded up and in your pack so what's cool about this is you could actually stage it outside and uh, either connect it to your molly gear uh with some 550 cord or bungee cords or even with the strap uh which is what i did on the uh the last hike uh, while i was reviewing this in the field uh, you know, with my dogs and a uh, couple of the uh, the Natural Training Center members. The cool thing about this set is that uh, it came with the uh, 20 liter, but it also came with a uh, 5 liter. And I like this version because uh, with my travel uh, pack, uh, that those of you that have been following, uh, you know, the Coach Helder reviews for a while have seen me, uh, with uh, what I use, let's say, when I am traveling, uh, especially internationally, and uh, want to have my, uh, my bag with me, and everything, of course, has to be TSA approved, but having this uh, little bag... Uh, is extremely convenient uh, while you're in the airport, all right, just once again, just for my uh, uh, needs, and I want to change out a t-shirt, uh, want to change out underwear. Sometimes these flights are uh, 26 hours, you know, the travel time from uh, door to door, uh, especially going to the Middle East, uh, Europe, things like that to teach. Uh, so any little bit of comfort, but you can imagine once I take the clothes that I've had on, let's say for the first leg of the flight, you know, for the first nine, 10 hours or whatever, and then I get somewhere, sometimes I have the ability to shower uh, and I'm able to use this little bag to, of course, keep my clean clothes, 
uh, that I initially packed on the way there. And then of course to put the uh, dirtier clothes in there, the t-shirt, it's not like it's soaked, it's not like I was crawling through the mud, but you know, it's gonna be funky from all that travel time. So being able to keep it in this little sealed bag uh, is definitely an added plus. And I'm sure for whoever's uh, sitting next to me you know, on a plane, I'm sure they would uh, also give it a thumbs up. All right, so uh, once again, these things uh, seem uh, minuscule until of course you actually have the practical application and then the little things mean everything. Once again, going back to this little valve here, all right, if you're impatient, you know, and once again, it's not a wet environment like this, you could kind of take, uh, you know, the whole thing off and uh, squeeze it down to get the air. All right, but then again, you are exposing it to the elements, all right? But you could tell, you could just squeeze that down, easy to pack. Right now, I happen to have, you know, a bunch of clothes in here for the demonstration. But if I didn't, uh, obviously, it would fold down to, to basically nothing and uh, be able to fit in your pack uh, for easy storage or your go bag or cure, uh, kit, whatever. Uh, once again, depending on the application, uh, we're thinking about this survival wise, but if you're in a camping environment and you have your truck and everything else, you know, things change, but of course you could see how you can uh, have use uh, for a bag like this. And once again, you have the, uh, just a little cap here that you could twist off also, keep that open, exposing less of the opening uh, to the elements. And once again, it works in reverse. As I stated earlier, if you do want to put a little bit of air in there uh, to allow it to float once again, manufacturer's uh, disclaimer don't use this as a flotation device um, you know that's coming from them uh, you saw the demonstration of how it does float uh, but once again it's not like I was using it as a flotation device but in an emergency once again you decide uh, you know what's best for you and another disclaimer uh, from the manufacturer also is to not put electronic uh, devices in here all right so keeping that in mind uh, so even though the quality and everything like that but of course disclaimers are disclaimers you know how everybody's so happy these days and a lot of times I'll end up putting their gear in here and uh, not sealing this correctly or not following the, 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 uh, the plan that uh, the TCT put out, uh, folding it at least three times, four times, you know, to be safe. And, uh, you know, something might go wrong, everything gets soaked in there, and then they'll try to, uh, of course, blame it on TCT. <laughs> so, once again, use your best judgment. Um, you know, we're mainly adults here. And, uh, you know, sometimes you got to think outside the box because of liabilities. All right. But, you know, once again, I'm giving you options and reviewing. You make your own final decision. So we've had our gear out here for, I'd say, at least uh, three hours uh, with the rain at a hell of a downpour. And then, as you saw, I also got to uh, throw it uh, into uh, my beautiful green pool and left it floating around in there for, uh, you know, just a bit. And uh, now we get to, uh, to open it up and see that hopefully our uh, gear is dry, which I would uh, pretty much bet that it is. All right, so pretty cool. You could tell in there everything's nice and dry. Gear is nice and dry. In finishing up this review, once again, these are durable, quality uh, dry bags, uh, waterproof bags. Uh, the little features, you can tell that they took some time and uh, did their field work uh, to see what would be advantageous, and there's really nothing here as far as uh, extra bells and whistles that uh, really aren't necessary. So that's kind of cool. Um, you know, those are the companies that uh, we like to review and like to stick with. And of course, uh, like to support because they see things uh, very similarly to the way that we do. All right, so this, if this is something that, uh, once again, budget-wise, I'll put the specs uh, in the blog post uh, with all the details uh, for those of you that, that want uh, the, the nitty-gritty details. And if you think that this is something for you, and uh, would bode well in your survival gear, camping gear, traveling gear. Uh, once again, lots of use uh, for just some uh, relatively inexpensive gear. And uh, hopefully you'll uh, give it a try. And if you do, let us know what you think. Uh, comment below. And uh, once again, thumbs up for me. And this is Helder. Hope you enjoyed this review.